Well, hello everybody and welcome back to the workshop. Well, now take a seat as after hours of preparation, we get to the point where we're gonna cut the 72 tooth wheel. Here's some highlights of what's coming up. Well, before I decided to go for it with cutting the brass, I thought I'd do a trial run with some aluminium. So I cut the first 72 pin tooth on a bit of aluminium. That is meant to be a 2.3 inch diameter wheel. The problem is I went in too deep with the cutter. When you're setting this up on the milling machine it's not easy to actually judge the depth that you want to cut to. You want to cut in enough to cut the tooth and to leave uh, a tooth profile but um, it's a bit of guesswork to be honest and after cutting this out and the we got 72 teeth no problem but when I measured this there it wasn't no longer 2.3 inch diameter it was a little less and the reason being the cutter had gone in too far cut the tooth but it had also taken a bit off the outer edge so that wasn't 2.3 inches so I decided for the main wheel cutting I will go in a depth of one and a half millimeters and that should stop it going too far and reducing the overall diameter and giving a tooth.
Well, I think I'm going to call that good. After a long time on the machine, we finally got around the 72 teeth. And what we have here, Seventy-two teeth at two point three inch diameter, and this is the wheel it's going to make it up to. Meshes pretty well. So thanks very much for watching. Um, I know I'm pretty slow in what I do here, but I try and show a bit more detail than uh, some of the other channels. So please come back to watch the final episode of this series where I shall be making the arbor for the wheel to sit on, clean the clock, fit this, and get it working, and we have a click spring to make as well on the moon dial cog. So, Thanks very much for watching again and thanks as usual to all the new subscribers we've got. It really is going well now. So thanks very much and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.